About a hundred dogs and cats are one step closer to finding their forever homes as they made the move from the Central Valley over to Seattle, Washington. Jennifer Onstad with New Beginnings in Merced says shelters in the area are facing the problem of overcrowding because a large number of families don't get their pets fixed. We have a huge amount of unwanted animals that run around and you know people don't necessarily focus on getting their animals fixed and so they end up with unwanted babies which are super cute but then they become bigger and some families are just solo people get overrun with their you know one cat that had kittens that now has 10 cats and now they have 15 cats and they don't know what to do so um, we, we do a lot of work with those types of situations and getting them placed in other areas so when we do adopt out they are fixed this little guy is a little shy at first and maybe a little bit nervous for the journey ahead so a man known as the dog whisperer tries to comfort him before being moved into his crate and eventually transported to the vehicle. Once he's a little more relaxed, he is good to go. They come in all different ages, and whether they are full grown or recently born, each of them are evaluated, treated, and prepared for adoption. And it benefits everyone involved, right? Because um, you're uh, getting pets from areas that um, either are overpopulated and you're transporting them to, in this instance, to Washington, where there is a greater need uh, for adoptable pets, right? So our mission is to move as many animals and pets from where they are not wanted to where they are wanted. We work all over the country and now we do international work as well. Wow. Yeah. Gene Gable with Wings of Rescue says they they have seen a large demand of adoptable pets due to the pandemic. And right now there's a great demand in some of the urban areas because of the pandemic people were adopting more animals and consequently there isn't much in terms of inventory. New Beginnings works to get these animals a home in areas where successful spay and neuter programs result in less animals being rescued. Otherwise, overcrowded shelters would have to face the unfortunate option of euthanizing these animals. And the staff, um, they work incredibly hard at trying to you know, do what they can to get animals out and placed. And it's just being understaffed and not having the ability or the, the man hours or the facilities to be able to take care of like the bottle babies. Like right now, we just flew out a bunch up to Washington and now we're going to send 30 animal, 30 cats, babies and um, moms and litters to the Bay Area because the bottle babies take a lot more time. You have to feed them every few hours and you know they're much more tedious to take care of and so the shelter can't do that. So as soon as the shelter gets, you know, people bring in baby kittens, they call us immediately and you know, do you have fosters? Can you come get these? Because the alternative is they lay there, suffer and starve to death or they get put down. And so it's just, it's awful. So we really, really work hard at trying to get our fosters to be able to, you know, do what they can to be able to help with those situations and but when the kitten season comes upon us like it is now and we just get inundated with all these kittens that nobody can take care of and our fosters get full really quick so we jump at every chance we can to get them out um, so that they can be cared for elsewhere. It all feeds into the idea that we could get to the point where pets do not have to be destroyed because there's nobody locally to adopt them. There's somebody who wants almost every pet. It's just a matter of connecting them. And now the pets board the aircraft. One by one, they are stored in a way that they experience the same comfort as the pilot. It is a pressurized cabin and the flight only takes about two hours, compared to being transported by ground, which can take hours and even days. Wings of Rescue was founded by a small group of pilots who were volunteering their own planes to move pets from one place to another. We have graduated into being a larger group in terms of chartering bigger planes that can move more amounts of pets. Uh, in this case today, we're working with a pilot that is, this is his own plane and he's been involved with the group for a long time. So we still do work with individual pilots. Wings of Rescue is now expanding internationally to extend its ongoing mission to relocate at-risk pets to new homes across the world. Like in the places like the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico, there's a lot of need for getting pets out of those places because they they don't have the spay and neuter programs that we have in this country. And at the end of the day, their volunteer work is worth it when each dog and cat finds its forever home. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. Get your goosebumps. <laughs>